The second year of Solid Gold, I believe it was the second year, I got an Emmy nomination. It completely dumbfounded me. In fact, it was one of only two Emmy nominations that year were, were in any category were offered for non-network shows. And that was to the costumer and myself on Solid Gold. No other in any category, no other Emmy nominations went for a non-network show. Um, it, there was a term that you, they used to use back in the uh, 70s and, and the 60s and 70s. Um, they, would, they would talk about doing things network quality, which meant you did it top drawer, that you, meaning that things that were done independently were not considered network quality that they you know, done on the cheap and they they just were and um, by by the um, by the uh, early or early 80s that was kind of there was a flip happening where it was becoming kind of a joke like network quality meant it was kind of slipshod and you know what was being produced by the outside producers was really really good so they um, uh, yeah, so the, uh, uh, I joined IFA. I, I went back there. But uh, yeah, I was here. I was uh, 29 years old and I won my first Emmy Award for Solid Gold. And it really did sort of place me in a different position in the industry. It, a lot of people started taking me very, very seriously. And this one very... Um, uh, amazing personality is the way I'll describe him, um, a director-producer, Marty Pacetta, um, who was quite difficult to work with. Marty, uh, Marty decided he wanted to give me a try, and, uh, and so I went to, uh, started doing shows with Marty, and I just became Marty's go-to guy. It's like he, whenever he had a show, uh, they wanted me on it.